1.2. So Uwazi received his employee tax certificate, his IRP5, this is an extra A that's been given to us, for the financial year ending 28 Feb 2013. And some of the information has actually been omitted. So we need to use an extra A to answer the following questions. So briefly explain the difference between an employee and an employer. It's like we're doing a business question. Oh, hello question. So an employee, they, they work and receive money for the work that they do. And an employer uh, is a person or an institution that hires workers and pays wages for work done. So employees, they work, they receive money. Employers, um, they, they pay employee money for their services. UIF, UIF stands for Unemployment Insurance Fund. Unemployment Insurance Fund. Write down the taxable amount that Alwazi received as an annual payment, that he received as an annual payment. It's going to be this 15,521. 1.2.4, did Alwazi receive a non-taxable reimbursive travel allowance? Give a valid reason for your answer. No, uh, he didn't. Nothing here indicates that. There's no code of 3703. 1.2.5, calculate the average monthly medical scheme fees tax credit. So his medical scheme contributions for the year is 2760. So 2760 divided by 12, that is going to be equal to 230 rand. Calculate the average monthly medical... Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. We just did that. Calculate the missing amount, A. So our A value, which is 4497, our total deductions and contributions. Well, we add the 3909 the 20.013 and the 8.640 and in total we get 42,562. 1.2.7 indicate how the gross retirement funding income was calculated. So gross gross non-retirement funding income we factored in one two and these three amounts okay this refers to as income we don't want the income amount we just want these amounts here the tax payable the allowances and medical aid. So it's going to be 15,521 plus the 26 plus the 8 and just add everything together. Be very meticulous when you plug it into your calculator and you get 50,349.